here we are. This is an introduction for absolute new players who have never, uh, you know, never played this game before and want to learn the basics. So this is for you. And I do mean basics, basic, basic, basic. I am not a great player of this game, PV player. Uh, you'll see that as, uh, as you see me play a little bit. However, I can show you how to get started. And that's what we're going to do here. So this is our opening screen. When you start your software, this is the screen that you will come to. And it'll have your name up here. It will have here, this is the energy, 21. I have 40 energy. You will probably have 20 energy every day. Uh, by the way, uh, down here, it says like five energy in six hours, five energy in three hours, and so on and so forth. And over here, it says, you know, five hours. Uh, this is the old system. They used to have... Uh, four times a day, you would get some of your energy back, but they changed that. They don't use it anymore. They just haven't updated the, uh, the interface here. So ignore ignore this. This is not important. Tw every 24 hours, every day at nine o'clock, you will get all 20 of your energy points, and then you spend them throughout the day. So this section right here is a quest section. We will do that later. Over here, down here at the bottom, there are three very important tabs. Now, first thing I should say is that I've been playing this for a while, so you see my axes around right here. If this is your first time to open this, of course, it will look different. These will be empty. So you have to go here to axes and maybe here there's nothing here. What you have to do is first is you have to sync your, uh, your axes. You have to synchronize this software to your Ronin wallet so that the, the axes that are in your Ronin, Ronin wallet will show up here. Okay, now I'm not going to change because I don't have any new axes, but when I do breed some new axes or when I buy some new axes, I have have to sync this and you're going to have to sync it when you get new ones uh, and when you start for the first time. So here you can look at some of the details of your Axie if you like, the level, don't worry about the, I'll explain the level later, uh, the level and the parts uh, special and the four cards that you have. So after you sync your Axies, you want to make a team. My Axies are all gone. That's, that's interesting. So Another thing that you should be aware of is that this game is still in alpha. There are things about it that are very, very strange. Strange things that happen, kind of don't know why they happen. Let me say, this might be, it's weird that my axes disappeared. I don't know why. I'll try to get them back up here. Just please remember that sometimes some really weird stuff happens. Don't get too freaked out about it, but be patient with the devs, I guess. The first thing you have to do is make your team. So if you're starting with just three axes, then it's pretty simple to make a team. First of all, you must have a team name, uh, so you, know, you can't leave a blank. And then you want to put three axes in this field right here. In the first one, you want to put a plant. Let's put this guy here, okay? Put a plant there, and then in the second position, you want to put a Nemo. This one looks good. This Nemo is fine. Put that one there in the second position. And then here in the third position, you want to put a Koi. All right, so what I'm talking about here is their tails. Since we have two aquas, so if we if we had the, like a plant aqua bird, I you know I would say put your plant here, put your aqua here, and put your bird here. But we have two aquas, so I distinguish them by their tails. So this one has a Nemo tail. This one has a Koi tail. You can see right here. Uh, the position I want you to do, you can put these guys anywhere. Okay, you can you know move them around if you want. Put this guy over here, D D D D D, as you like. But don't want you to do that. I want you to use this formation, okay? In the middle, up and behind, behind. So one, two, three. These four, don't use those. Um, it's a little bit complicated, but for now, this is the best system. You will see some people playing, you know, kind of like a weird formation like this. You'll run into that from time to time or like this, you know, I, I don't know. But trust me, that's not what you want to do please set up like this. In the future, if you want to change, once you know more about the game, that's fine. But I want you to use this for now. Okay, so save your team. Boom. And there's my team. Okay, so I have a new team. I got to select it. I'm going to use Faster Pussycat Team. Select that team. And here they are. Good. Okay, my, my team is back over here. All right, great. So now you have set up your team. Let me show you a few more buttons here. The last uh, button down here on the left is inventory. It'll show your uh, how, the SLP that you have right now. And then over here on the right, there is the the marker for what season we're in. We're in uh, season 18 right now, but only for a few more days. Uh, it says season 18 is going to be over, and then we'll have two or three weeks 
of between seasons and then season 19 will start sometime in October or November I, I expect so we have here on the left this is the leaderboard all right so we have the first 100 players right here and this is how many points they have they have uh, I think this is called MMR you can see me triple A I've got 1,392, not even close to being. I, this is, I am number, I'm not even in the top half a million, okay? I'm very, very far down the leader list right now. These are the leaders. So if you want to look at your, your how many points you have, you can look here. The points here will have an impact on how many SLP that you earn by winning arena matches. So it is useful to know. I recommend you try to keep yours between 1,300 and 1,500 to start. That should be your first goal. Try to get up. 1300 to 1500. This is your battle log. So these are the games that you played recently. Here's the PV. This is two hours ago. I played this um, against A32. So it's a scholar for somewhere. So you can see I had a victory. I had a victory. I had a defeat. I had a victory. I had a victory. If you want to watch these again, you can. It's, uh, I watch them sometimes because, well, I'm going to, I'm going to use them to make videos to show you my ideas about playing. But um, also it's just kind of you know nice to watch um, how the game works out okay uh, for your own strategy but we're gonna we're not gonna watch this right now if you want to watch it you can't exit all right so let's go back to the main screen off the battle log this is the friends I have no friends oh no okay so I have no friends I don't know maybe you will be my friend uh, <laughs> and then finally is the uh, settings so you can turn the music up if you like the music. Uh, you can turn the sound effects of the attacks and things like that. I, I don't like to listen to that. And I usually listen to music while I'm playing. This is for if you're playing on a tablet or phone, I think. And your graphic settings, resolutions, and full screen or not full screen. Okay, so um, probably not going to monkey around with this too much. You get them set how you like. Okay, so we have two types of game here, adventure and arena. Okay, so this is PvE. Adventure is PvE, and arena is PvP. And if you forget, you can look right up here. PvP arena, it says. Okay, arena is a PvP. All right, PvP, I'm sure you know this, but PvP means player versus player. So you are uh, fighting against somebody else on the other side of the world who has their own axes and you're trying to beat each other. PvE, the adventure mode, is when you play against the computer. In the beginning, I think you are going to uh, probably spend a lot of your time on adventure. All right, and that's going to teach you how to play, you know, how to move the buttons and all, all the simple things that we really have to know however at some point you well no even from the beginning you will be playing arena as well if you're smart and you want to get you want to get the slp in the beginning you'll be spending a lot of your time on adventure and a little bit on arena and then later on you're going to switch and you will be spending most of your time on arena and a little bit on adventure we'll talk about that again in the future now slp this is this is important this is why we play we want to earn these slow love potions and the easiest way to do that in the beginning is with the quest you have so i've already finished my quest today you have three things that you have to do to do the quest the first one is a daily check-in that's very important. There's a button right here. You click on it, click, and that one's done. The next one is complete 10 adventure mode level. And then the last one is win five arena matches. Again, the adventure is a PvE and the arena is a PvP. This is adventure mode. So you start here. This is level one right here. You see my, my th these are new axes because I just made this team with you guys. These guys are very low level. The maximum number of SLP that you can earn for uh, playing adventure mode for the PvE is 50. You can earn 50 a day and then it stops. When you play this level and you win, you will get some SLP and you will get some experience. Experience is what makes you move from level one to level two to level three to level four and as you get more experience it gets easier and easier to beat these levels all right so in the beginning in order to get 50 slp you might have to play this a lot many many times you're getting one you know you're getting one or two slp each time in order to get all the way to 50 you have to play a lot uh right now the way my high level ones that I play with this, I'm on level 20 right now, and I can play level 20 like 
I don't know, three or four times and get all 50 SLP. What you want to do as you get better at this game is you want to level up your three axes here and get them to you know level 20 or 25 it goes quite high so level 20 or 25 so that you can get those 50 slp really quickly and then go back here and play arena so this quest which is 10 adventure levels and five arena matches for me right now probably takes i don't know hour hour and a half something like that uh you can do it quite quickly in the beginning, it'll take a lot longer than that. In Adventure and Arena, you can play with energy or you can play with no energy. So you still have energy right here. Then if you win, your energy will go down one, you will get some SLP, and you will get some experience. Okay? So I'll show you this right now. We'll play this really easy one first. Okay? So I'm at 21 right now. So we'll play this. This is the, the easiest level, and I just try to beat them. Just kind of take a toe. Try to take that. So, um, one thing you want to do is when you're playing this, try to watch and see these damage points. How many points of damage are you doing for each attack? That way you can kind of estimate how many cards you need to take down one of these guys. So, like, this guy, he's got, uh, what was it, 294 health, and he's got zero shield. Okay, this is a shield, and this up here is the attack, how many attack points he does. He does zero shield, so uh, 294 is what you need. All right? So, if you, let's say, I got... I have three energy right here, so I can do one, and I'll do, oh, that's a heal, that's no good. Uh, I'll do two, and that's probably not going to take this guy down. Also, it might split the attack. So, there we go, 121 he did. And yeah, this is going to go down there. Uh, I'll explain this to you next time. Um, Okay. Uh, how much do I want to get into this? So, just, I don't want to talk about this too much. Remember, I told you I did, that you shouldn't line these guys up like this? All right. So, he, here's what's happening these two guys will always attack this guy. Okay? This guy will 50% attack him and 50% attack this guy. All right? Um,. Now that that seems like it might. Some people think that's an advantage. I think that's a mistake. I don't think you should do that. But uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, that that's the that's the case of this. Are we gonna kill him? No, not quite. There we go. Okay, he's dead now. And okay, we'll kill this guy next round. And let's see, yeah, this should do it. One, two, I'll do the rest of it just for fun. And we should kill him here. Okay, 128. And bam, another 128, and he's dead. Yay, we do the victory dance, and that's a victory. So we get 51 experience, okay? So these guys move up halfway to level, you know, the halfway through level one, and we don't get any... SLP because I'm full already this year. But if I didn't, I would get a couple. Although, maybe not for level one. Might be level two or three. The first couple levels are zero SLP, I think. When you get up here, it starts to do more. Now, if I take these guys and try to play at one of these higher levels, like this is like uh, Ruin 15, the 15th level, they're going to get killed. All right, they're going to get slaughtered, not going to win. So you have to kind of slowly move them up. So, okay, I did number one. That was pretty easy. Let's try Ruin 2. Uh, maybe that's okay. Ruin 3, and then I lose. So I say, okay, let's go back and do 2. So you play this, and you get your guys higher and higher, and you get your 50 SLP. All right, that should be your very first, that should be your first goal. Notice that the energy went down to, it was 21 before, and now it's 20. So I told you that if you use energy, if you win, you're going to get SLP 
and experience points. You guys saw that I got 51 experience points for these guys. Now, if you have zero energy, you can still play and you will still get SLP up, up to 50, but you will not get any, get any experience. So in the future, when these guys are already high level and you don't care about experience anymore, you will spend all of your energy on Arena. You spend all of your energy here, play Adventure for only SLP and no uh, experience points. But that, that's, you know, maybe after you've played for a month or something and your guys are up to the level that makes you happy. So adventure, if you have energy and you use it, you're going to get SLP and experience points to go level up. If you don't have energy, you still get the SLP, you can play and you'll still get the SLP, but you'll get no experience. To begin with, I recommend that you spend most of your energy on the adventure until you get 50 SLP. So today you're going to play, uh, you have 20 uh, energy, let's say, and you you play this uh, 15 times. You play it 15 times and now you're at 50. So then maybe you want to switch to arena. Your team, your three axes will put you at some level. Okay, I just lost, so I'm at 1375. And then it will match you with someone who is about the same level, about Okay, maybe a little bit higher, maybe a little bit lower. And um, when you play the game, it'll match you with them. In order to get this quest, you should, you have to be able to win five of these. And that's going to give you uh, 50 from Adventure, um, 25 from the quest, that's 75 SLP. Um, that's not a bad start. That might be all you can do at the beginning, uh, just 75 SLP, which is, you know, that's low. It's not an enormous amount. But uh, as you get better at the adventure, you can spend more and more in the arena of your energy in arena, and you can get you can get higher and higher rewards for winning those five for winning those arena battles. So probably in a month or so, when your axes are around level 20 or something, uh, you might want to spend almost all of your all of your points on arena, all of your energy on arena. So you do 20 energized arena matches and if you win i don't know let's say 12 of them um and you have six uh you're getting six points per uh per match if you win 12 and each one of those is worth six points that's 72 points you get another 75 for your daily quest and for your adventure mode so you're getting close to 150 that's getting right up in the 150 range and i think with this set you should be able to win you know, 12 or 13 times. So that's getting you close to 150 SLP a day, which is not bad. But anyway, so uh, that's that's more in the future. So for now, come in here, uh, sync, synchronize your axes, make your team, and play a bunch of adventure mode until you get uh, comfortable. And play arena if you want, but I would spend most of your energy right now on adventure mode. Try to level up those axes, okay? One adventure game, uh, in my opinion, in my experience, takes about six to seven minutes, and one arena game takes three or four minutes. So uh, you can you can calculate yourself uh, how long it's going to take you to play 20 energy. You should be trying to use all of your energy every day. Although you know, if you take some time here and there, that's okay. All right, so that should be it for today. Uh, we're going to stop there. I hope that answers any of the questions that you have about absolute basics of getting started with Axie Arena, uh, excuse me, with Axie Infinity. And look for help from me or your teammates in the Discord. Well done, everyone. Thank you.